Welcome back to How Tuesday. I'm your host, Andy Smith, and today's a quick one. We talk about the correct placement of YouTube annotations. I'm going to assume that if you've been a part of the Real SEO family for any amount of time, you already know how to make an annotation and put it into your video. If you don't, Tim did a very useful guide back in January. It lasts an hour and a half for all the things in depth about annotations that you could ever want to know. If that's too long for you, if you don't have the time available, you could also check out the Google support pages, which would give you a quick overview of how to place annotations. So at this point, you either know how to place an annotation or you already checked out Tim's video and you're back to this one. Where should you place an annotation? Well, convention has changed dramatically over the years. When annotations first came out, somebody like Shay Carr was placing them in the bottom third, right along this area, and getting his viewers to click on the like button by placing it as close to the like area as possible, which it's, it's moved. It's been here, it's been there, it's been everywhere. This helped him convert a little message into a lot of like button clicks that helped boost his success early on. If you consider the following, I've divided the screen into a few zones that'll help clear this up for you. Do not place anything in the center frame of your video or over your subject unless it's the end slate. That is the only time I can see that you might want to put annotations in the center of your video. Zone two, I'd call the lower thirds right here, this, this section right here. Current convention is to avoid the lower third because the overlay ad pops up and blocks most of the lower thirds. Don't forget also that on mobile, the lower third is used for the progress bar anytime somebody hovers over the video. So the video might look clean and pristine, but the minute someone tries to click on it, up it comes, the progress bar covering the lower third once again. Another problem with the lower thirds is the fact that closed captioning appears there and right about this area, and so does a lot of branding and watermarks which usually appear in the corners here or here. Okay, so the center screen is bad, the lower third is bad, that must mean the upper third is great, right? Wrong! This is not the best place to place your annotations either. I like to divide the upper third into three zones because there's a slight difference between the different areas of the upper third. I make one zone each for each respective corner and another one for the center area up top. We're not for mobile, the upper third would actually be a pretty good region, but I'll break it down into the three regions and let you know exactly why each has its different uses for annotation. Now the upper right hand corner I say is the worst part of the upper third. Right here is where your annotation for in-video programming would normally appear and that is not a user placed annotation. So don't place any annotations there unless you want them to get covered by the in-video programming feature. Now, aside from mobile, which once again encroaches in the upper third with various menu features, the upper area is fairly safe. You could place an annotation here in the corner, which is my preferred area if you're gonna place it in the upper third, or you could place it in the center area of the upper region, which is fairly free and clear. If you don't get a lot of views on mobile, that upper left region is pretty good. Corners tend to draw the viewer's eyes, so if you place an annotation up there, you can get a lot of bang for your buck by utilizing not only a corner, but an upper area of the video. So by default, we've pretty much removed everything except the sides. The biggest pitfall to using the sides is balancing it with the framing of your subject, so keep that in mind when editing and when placing annotations. If you follow along with the tips in this video, also available as a download from realseo.com, I think it'll give you a lot more success in the majority of situations with your annotations. Thank you once again for joining me for another episode of How Tuesday. Support has been amazing for the show. Thank you guys so much for all the tweets, all the comments, all the new subscribers we've had. It's been a real blessing to be received so well uh, after Tim's been around so long and to try to fill his shoes. So I really appreciate all that support. If you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button below. I've got a link to the last video you may have missed uh, below. And I've also got a link to another video I think you might find useful that'll help you out with annotations. So click on either of those, go check out that content and I'll see you next time on How Tuesday.